An urgent Pentagon investigation is underway into the deadly U.S. military helicopter crash near the island of Cyprus in the eastern Mediterranean. Five service members were killed during a routine air and refueling mission. This incident happened not far from where the U.S. dispatched military assets and troops following the Hamas terrorist attack on Israel last month. There are no indications the chopper was the target of any hostile activity. Escalation in the Middle East with new U.S. airstrikes targeting fighters supported by Iran. And new video shows the vast destruction as Israel's war on Hamas rages in Gaza. The region's largest hospital is now apparently on the front lines. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu also said there could be a potential hostage deal with Hamas, but would not give any more details on the negotiations. Congress has until Friday to pass a spending plan and avert a government shutdown. House Republicans are working on a two-part plan, but it's not a long-term solution and faces an uphill battle among some right-wing Republicans and possibly Democrats. Newly elected House Speaker Mike Johnson has yet to set a date for a possible vote on a spending deal in the House. Ratings agency Moody's lowered its outlook on the U.S. credit rating to negative from stable, citing higher interest rates and political polarization. The move follows a rating downgrade by Fitch, another ratings agency, earlier this year. Banks on the payment app Zelle are refunding victims of imposter scams. The refunds come after lawmakers raise concerns about consumer protection. People were duped into sending money to scammers claiming to be from a government agency, bank, or existing service provider. If you plan to leave home Thanksgiving weekend, brace yourself. The AAA forecast predicts that this Thanksgiving will be the third busiest on record for travelers, and a possible government shutdown could have a broader impact. The White House is warning airline passengers would face long wait times and delays. A gradual decrease in gas prices could pick up steam after the recent decline in oil prices. Slow gasoline demand has likely contributed to the reduced prices at the pump and fall in oil prices. The average price for gas dipped to 336, according to the latest report from AAA. The average price at the pump is 26 cents less than a month ago and 41 cents than less than a year ago. The average price here in San Antonio, 269 a gallon. The Spurs skidded to their fifth straight loss last night against the Miami Heat, 118 to 113. Turnovers seem to hurt them, but Coach Pop says the team is getting smarter each game. Keldon Johnson had 20 points and 12 rebounds, and Victor Wembayama had 18 points and 11 rebounds. Up next for the Spurs are the Oklahoma City Thunder tomorrow night, part of the NBA in-season tournament group play. Dak Prescott threw four touchdowns and ran for another as the Cowboys crushed the Giants last night, 49-17 for their 12th straight home win. Meanwhile, the Texans put an end to the Bengals' four-game win streak yesterday. C.J. Stroud led the Texans through another game-winning drive to beat the Bengals 30-27. Up next, the Cowboys face the Panthers and the Texans host the Cardinals. And that's today's 9 at 9. It Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.